Hello, welcome. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Scorpio, I'm doing your reading today with the um, Tarot of Mystical Moments. Sorry, I keep getting, I'm getting drawn into this here. This splash of color in the plant behind me is kind of, it's kind of connected to this card, I think, a little bit. But okay, I'll get to that in a moment, but it's really drawing me in. So, um, Tarot of Mystical Moments blended with the Oracle of Mystical Moments in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. I've got the Ace of Swords on the split there. This particular Ace of Swords always talks to me about discipline, like scholarly discipline and accomplishment. And then the Sun at the bottom of the deck. The Sun card has been coming up with um, this message of having a knowing. So Scorpio is in a prime position because of the work that you've been doing. It's like been diligently working away at something. Coming into the Sun energy is like you've reached that place where you have developed a keen sense is how it's coming through. I mean, it's coming through as almost like really scholarly, but as it's shifting into the sun energy, it's almost feeling more um, spiritual in a sense. So there could be kind of an evolution of like whatever it is that you're studying and becoming masterful at is shifting into this more spiritual, like illuminated, having a, an illuminated awareness. Of, but it's like, but this... But this trail of discipline has led you there. Okay, so um, this I'm going to pull you an overall energy from the Dream Decoder card. Not the Dream Decoder. I need to just pull the Dream Decoder deck out because it keeps coming out. Maybe I'll just do that right now. I'm going to pull the Dream Decoder for you because it really wants to be in the readings lately. It keeps, it keeps talking to me even though it's not here. So... Let's pull that out. So this is the Dream Decoder that I use as an overall energy. I haven't used it in a while because it was kind of coming up with, um, I don't know, kind of uncomfortable energies for a while and I wasn't enjoying the energy of it anymore. So, okay, Dream Decoder for Scorpio. Okay, oh, interesting. It's being lost or losing something. That's really fascinating to me because the cards that are already on your table, on the table for you are um, kind of talking to me about, it's almost like somebody wandering into your environment, being a little bit lost or disoriented. It's like they're not... You're not really, they're not really sure or you're not really sure how they're arriving there, but suddenly there they are in your realm on you, on the scene where you are, but they're like this new arrival that it's almost like they just kind of want, they're wandering. It feels like they're wandering and they just happen to be crossing through your area, if that makes any sense. So, um, we're starting here with the nine of pentacles and this is why I say that first of all, the earrings and the ring in this card are jumping out at me in really um, vibrant way. It's like this pattern. You see that gorgeous pattern on the, it doesn't really come through the camera very well, but it's, it's almost like tiles or something, right? But how it was coming through, especially because it's the nine of pentacles, it's kind of related to work or independence being kind of on your own, but working away. It was coming through as almost like something really repetitive. The patterning in the jewelry is looking to me like a repetitive thing. It was something like somebody, well, you Scorpio, kind of uh, as an artist, as a maker of something, creating something and kind of coming into, maybe that's what this is talking about, coming into the perfection of that thing, right? With, with a lot of discipline, moving into this like, aha, here it is. It, this is exactly perfect. This is exactly what I was trying to accomplish. So because of that, kind of doing it over and over again, it was kind of coming through as like almost like a printmaker, like having designed the most beautiful print 
and saying, ah, this is it. I'm going to keep producing this over and over again because this is what I've been aiming for. So kind of in this this repetitive cycling energy, but in a good way, like I'm going to keep doing this because it's exactly what I'm needing or wanting or aiming for. I've reached that place. And so I'm going to keep doing that. So, but kind of almost like in an, an assembly line kind of a thing, right? So really focused on creating, 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 but in a really repetitive way because you've reached perfection, right? But so being in this kind of repetitive cycle, something is arriving and i want to say that it's this lost one arriving in your in your view in a sense and almost like disrupting that pattern disrupting your work pulling your focus towards them and it's almost like this oh little bird what are you doing here it's a, an immediate draw it's an it's immediately attractive this energy that arrives because look at this the under the umbrella coming next this great big vibrant energy. And this is what I want to tie it into this, this plant here in the background. What's interesting about it, it's like somebody, it's actually almost coming in as like an animal because it's coming in as the bird energy. And there's, there's a lot of am, animal imagery in your car, in your cards today. It's almost like you're kind of just, you know, in your backyard gardening, tending to the flowers. And then this this animal comes wandering into your space and it's got that like, oh, hey, what are you doing here? Curiosity and interest and attraction immediately. But what's coming through humorously with this under my umbrella card is that there, this energy, this one who is now in your space is actually really not wanting to be noticed. They're standing out like a sore thumb, at least to you, I want to say. Well, because it's like, because they're almost interrupting your work. It's like, it's, they're so crossing your path that it's interrupting the thing that you are working on so that's why you're particularly honed into it i mean it could be we could be talking about a workplace situation and there's somebody new in that environment um but they don't want to be noticed but they're they can't hide this is how it's coming through with the plant here it's like they want to blend in they want to kind of be camouflaged and kind of recede into the background but it's not possible Maybe that's just for you particularly, like they stand out to you, but maybe just in general, they're very easily spotted and noticed. But with the night ride energy next, this is kind of what I'm talking about. It's like they, they want to kind of tiptoe through without being noticed. There's also a, an energy here that I'm curious about with this, the bird with the man on his back and the umbrella, and then this these two owls on the back of the elephant it's it's making me wonder whether this one is they're protective of something right it's like they're trying to keep something something cloaked it could be another person or or a child or something you know what i mean it's like they've got kind of a sidekick energy that they're trying to I mean, maybe they're trying to usher uh an energy through without being noticed because they're protective of them but that also could be quickly turning into how you are viewing them. It's almost like you can perceive very quickly, Scorpio, that they are not wanting to be noticed. And so it's almost like you're wanting to communicate to them that you understand that. And it's almost like you're going to help them be camouflaged. It's like, come, come sit with me and I will help to cloak you from the others. It's a very sheltering and protective energy. In fact, the protective nest is coming out at the end of the of the row here. So it's like they're feeling a need to camouflage or be protected and you are saying, "Well, I can I can help you with that." And then this journey card here was really this for some reason, I'm not sure why, it was looking to me like um tending to them almost like there's an injury or a wound, maybe actually really physically because there was like, for some reason, the markings on the leg here were standing out almost like as bones. And then this ribbon was looking to me like bandaging. So it, it likely very, it very likely isn't like an actual physical wound, but it's like they're needing tending to. Part of the reason maybe why they're trying to be inconspicuous is because they're in a situation that is, that was very wounding to them. And they're needing that to be addressed they're trying not to draw any attention it's kind of like that um 
It's like when animals hide when they're sick or injured and they, they just go off and hide. It's got that kind of an energy to it. But I feel like it's kind of coming through as that is part of the reason why they've been sent your way. It's almost coming through as like, a, almost like following the wind is what I'm getting. Something about this night ride with the, with the stars and there's something about, and then it's here again with the, with the dandelion fluff. It's kind of like they're working on pure instinct and they're following impulses. They're following the wind and the wind has kind of directed them across your path because you are a nurturer, you are a healer and, and, or you're very tuned in and empathic. And so you can sense right away that they're needing like shelter in a sense, right? They're needing to be sheltered or protected. So and with the butterfly garden, it was, it's very much coming through as like becoming, um, like trying to approach a wild animal and gain their trust. It's that kind of a thing. So it, but that's happening here with the butterfly garden. It's like the butterfly is landing on your head. You have to be completely, um, you have to be a very gentle energy. They need a gentle approach and you're able to do that. You're able to be gentle enough for them to settle in your, in your aura, in your environment. They feel settled enough to stay there for a time. Perhaps it has something to do with this. This is what it, this is kind of coming through as like an energetic thing. When I was saying it's, it's like a spirit, it's moving into a spiritual aspect. It's like energetically you're coming through as kind of a light, a bright, a bright light. It's not necessarily something that they're aware of. It's, this is all energetic where their intuition, their impulses are leading them across your path because of the resonance, because of the energetic, because of your vibe. Like your vibe is just soothing to them. So there's something here about this, this Seven of Cups and the Miss Sunshine card. That's interesting. It's actually, it was looking to me like, okay, this is you kind of spotting them in the distance or in the environment and, and wanting to draw them closer. That's a tricky dynamic though, because they're so easily kind of startled in a sense. So, but it's, you're, you're successful at that. It's like, you're pulling them in with the Miss Sunshine card. It's like plucking the star out of the sky and pulling it right up close where you can where you can engage with it or have a conversation with it. But then it's also kind of flipping in this moment and talking about what I was just saying about you because you're the sun card and you're kind of this, this light that they're being drawn to. See what I mean? It's like in the darkness, it's like they went there, they're, it's almost like they're being guided directly towards you and your light. You see what I'm saying? Go towards the Miss Sunshine energy. That's where that's, it's like moving towards the sun, moving towards the warmth of the sun, right? But there's something about how you, you are uh, immediately very drawn to them or connected to them. Like I said, because, because they're very intrigued, they're very beautiful or attractive in some way. It could just be an energetic thing, but it's like when they cross your path, you're immediately curious about them because they have a very gentle, like a really modest and gentle energy, even though they may like come through with, like with this big, is it big? It's kind of like, they're just inconspicuous, but they're gentle and they want, they're quiet. Anyway, so as you draw them in, because you find them very attractive, you are very attracted to them, but it's like when they get, when you get a close up view of them, this is what comes in with the tower and the death card. It's like, there's a lot of it's like there's a lot of trauma there. They're coming fresh out of a tower energy. They're in this death and transformation phase right now. It's almost like they're barely aware of their surroundings. And that's kind of what I was saying at the beginning, where it's almost like they're wandering into your space without even being really that aware of it. It's like they're just, they're on autopilot. That's been coming up 
quite a bit in the readings recently, that term autopilot. It's like they're on autopilot because they're they're so in their stuff, or they're so in their body. Like I said, it almost feels like they have some sort of a physical wounding where they're all of their attention is towards their process right now, but they but they are on the move, right? So that's why they're crossing your path. So, and it's like you, I think that you very you see that very quickly. It's very much like a, like an animal. It's like you're you're in your garden and this animal enters your space. It's very attractive. Of course, you love animals. You move towards it and very quickly you can see that it's not quite in its right state. It's that's how it's coming through. It's not quite in its right state. It's like it's in a it's in an altered state of consciousness, maybe because it is physically unwell. Or like I said, this could be a person, but it looks almost like an animal to me, right? It's behave, the energy is behaving like an animal, but that could also be talking about whoever this person is. It's like they're in kind of this primal instinct type of energy where if they're just fresh out of this tower card, it's like something just collapsed in their life or some big thing just went down and it's like they're still stunned. They're still in that immediate aftermath where they're stunned and, and they're just seeking refuge in a sense so um the page of cups the page of cups coming next this is this is the two of you i want to say because you are such a gentle energy i feel like they are going to and there's the butterfly right it's like this it's like they're landing they're landing in your space see this butterfly here it's like they're landing in your space because of the the because of your ability to be gentle and patient and quiet and help to camouflage or cloak what it is that they're experiencing, right? It's like they're feeling really exposed and vulnerable and there's there's this natural instinct in you to kind of like cut, to help cover that up. That's this too, right? Where it's almost like dressing the wound. So it's like very, it seems like very quickly they're going to, you're going to become confidants. It's like they're going to, you're going to have very intimate conversations about, about their story, how it's coming through. It's like they've got quite a story. And then it's like once, once they open up to you and begin telling you this story, it's, it's a lot with the page of, swords next like this stack of books it's like this is the beginning of the conversation and very quickly it's going into like volume after volume after volume of story it's like they're they're you're easy to spill their heart out to they feel very comfortable in your energy and then the three of cups here as well this three of cups was kind of coming through as um nostalgia if they could be telling you the story of their family or their, it's interesting. It's actually almost starting to look like, like a refugee type situation with everything going on in the world right now. I mean, it's almost like that, right? Like somebody coming out of a really devastating environment and into your environment, with, which feels really quiet. And it's like, they're opening up to you about the good old days or like back home or before before things went south, I was in this really beautiful place with these really beautiful people is part of their story, right? And the reason why I say that is that there's, I mean, all the golden energy in this card, but there's also like just the time, there's a, it's like a earlier time. It's like, look, it's a energy of nostalgia and looking back. So Scorpio, is like your entire reading is is just talking about this this kind of lost wanderer who happens to enter your space and it's almost like because because you are in this place of it's like you've reached you've reached a really good place you're in the sun and the nine of pentacles right it's like you have you have a lot to offer. Your energy is full of goodness and wellness and health and abundance, resources, skills and knowledge, right? And it's like the Ten of Wands underneath that. It's like because in the Four of Cups, it's like because because you've you've gone out of your way to create a really beautiful. Yeah, it's like all this energy of like protection, like this this protection and kind of nuzzling up next to. 
because your environment is very soothing. So I'm going to leave it there. I am going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in more of this story, the link to the extended is, is in the description box. But if not, I feel like Scorpio, you've got it. You know exactly what to do. You are like, I'm, I'm going back to this energy here again. It's like, they feel like they're not in their right mind or they're not in the right energy, but there's something about you. It's like, there's a strong connection here that it's like, there's something about you that knows exactly what to do with this particular state. You see that swirl? It's like, that is completely lined up with your specific abilities. It's almost like, it's almost coming through as like hypnosis or something. You know, when you do hypno, when you, when you're a hypnotist and you're doing hypnosis work with a client, it is that like creating a safe space, creating a nurturing environment in order for them to be their most vulnerable, right? So it's like they're showing up completely vulnerable and you're like, okay, I, I completely know how to deal with this. I know what to do here. So I'm going to, I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested, the link is in the description and if not, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.